there, Rider Flex Nation. Steve Urban here with more career advice and job interviewing tips for you. And as a quick reminder, if you enjoy our podcast, please remember to subscribe to our channel and like the episodes. And on today's podcast, I want to encourage you to attack the weaknesses within your profile or your resume based on the job you're applying for. You know, rarely do we get a job description from an employer and find a resume or profile that just matches everything perfectly on paper. That's rare. Usually there's one or two things missing, right? Like, for example, maybe they want 10 years of operational leadership experience and you only have eight or whatever. There's, there's usually something missing. Maybe there's a particular software you don't have experience in or, or something like that. You know, we usually get a 90, 95% match job description to, to resume. And then we have to sell to our client why they should talk to you, even though you're missing one or two bullet points. That's usually how it goes. The point of the podcast is this. If, if you get an interview scheduled and you go in front of an employer, you need to know, be very aware of the weaknesses within your profile based on what they're looking for. Be ready to talk about it. Attack it, bring it up, even if they don't. Okay, don't, don't wait for them to bring it up. If you get towards the end of the interview and you haven't talked about something that you know they're probably worried about, you need to bring it up. Just talk about it. Just say, hey, look, Mr. Brown, I just want to be clear. I know in the job posting it said you wanted 10 plus years of experience and I only have seven. I just want to address that and tell you why I'm the person for, for the job, A, B, C, D, and E. I know you're probably talking to more senior level people, but here's why you want to go with me and not them, et cetera. Just be sure you attack whatever weaknesses are in your profile, and I encourage you to bring it up, even if the employer doesn't, in the interview. And there is your Rider Flex tip of the day. We truly hope you find our material helpful and entertaining. And while our podcast can be heard across most platforms, including iTunes, Google Play, Spotify, YouTube, and SoundCloud, you can become a supporter of this podcast by visiting our show on the platform Anchor FM. That's anchor.fm slash riderflex. You can also send us your questions or suggested topics for future episodes to the email address podcast at riderflex.com. Or drop us a voicemail at 888-964-5876, extension 710. Visit riderflex.com to learn more about us. Thanks so much for listening, folks, and have a great day.